Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Medizy and today I'll discuss about AZ305 exam experience. Uh, today I have taken this uh, examination AZ305 uh, which is basically designing a Microsoft Azure infrastructure solution but since I have uh, previously done AZ104 so both AZ104 and this 105 will become uh, eventually a three star certification which is azure microsoft certified azure solution Ar architect ex expert ex like certain like they have given the batch so i'll tell the exam experience so uh, last couple of months i was preparing for this exam and if you see the uh, certification dashboard so these are the certification certificate that i have taken so these are this is my latest one and uh, if you see this one i will just wanted to share the score as well so here you can check the score uh, the score is 946 out of uh, 1000 so the passing marks is 700 i have done quite well and uh, these are the four uh, section of the exam uh, my strong part was uh, storage but i did bad in storage and uh, but fortunately i mean in monitoring also i have a stronghold so i have done pretty uh, average and but in business continuity and infrastructure solution i did really well so here i need to check like what else i have uh, mistakenly i mean possibly done some mistake so i'll uh, discuss all about this and i'll create a separate video on uh, the preparation strategy but this video will all about the exam experience so I have scheduled uh, online examination from this Pearson View portal. And uh, since I am associated with a service based company, so they are uh, sponsoring this certificate. So if you are from uh, major, all of the MNCs, CMM level three, CMM level five, not even if you have your company's gold uh, partner with Microsoft, then possibly you can uh, try to uh, link your official email and try to check whether this certification you can do uh, freely or not otherwise you may need to spend around 500 5300 rupees uh, after tax otherwise uh, like that is a proctor exam otherwise you can go to any uh, pearson view or um, like you know prometric center they will uh, schedule an exam for you and you need to go for a specific date the one good thing is you can reschedule the exam if you have some if you think like there is some problem you are not prepared well then before 24 hours you are okay to reschedule after that you cannot reschedule the exam so mine exam is on uh, 10 30 uh, 9 30 today like 9 30 uh, from monday and uh, half an hour before i need to log in i should have a mobile with me i have to take few uh, picture and all like the overall room picture and all that i have to take that they will guide you uh, step by step that is 10 15 minutes process so this is the uh, very first thing now i will discuss this uh, seven or eight parameter so they have introduced uh, something exam break that is a very interesting thing that i will discuss and uh, let's talk about uh, from beginning so the exam pattern was proctor based online exam so you you will be um, there will be a proctor who will be there who actually constantly monitoring you so you cannot basically uh, uh, speak you know you are not allowed to take water you are not allowed to use mobile or pen paper nothing you are allowed so th that is basically proctor and the next is exam difficulty so the um, uh, great thing is this exam is not very difficult so if i talk about az uh, 104 or 204 like kind of associate exam they are really hard and then out of like you know 305 is moderate and if you see az 900 it is easy so you can understand this exam is easy and uh, this exam is uh, harder than that medium and this one is uh, slightly harder that is why i uh, did score a lot of marks i was expecting somewhat uh, 850 or 800 but i scored almost 950 so possibly i have marked two three questions wrong otherwise everything else is correct so exam difficulty don't uh, scared about exam difficulty so if you are working in azure for one or two years in specific to uh, like architect domain then you can easily take it up within one month if you have a development knowledge you are, you are 
working as a Azure developer, you, you want to you still want to take uh, 305, then first you need to do 104 and then you can prepare for 305. So 104 is basically practical and 3045 is its implementation. So here the questions are in 104 are quite big but in 305 are directly uh it's a question kind of uh, three four line question you can quickly read and quickly able to answer so difficulty i would say it's a moderate it's not very difficult okay so one one point i have I want to mention here lab again i'm telling you there is no lab even though there is no lab please uh prepare uh like you know please do check out the azure portal check few things like uh, uh most of all like the application insight log analytics uh, various uh, type of storage tier, uh, VM and is, is costing and uh, load balancer stuff like you know they have four types of load balancer Azure load balancer then you have uh, Azure front door you have application gateway check out their differences just have a pure conception uh, check out uh, about subnet and NSGs so at least check those options because the question will come from here that i will possibly i will go for a detailed discussion in my next video for uh, other one number of question for me it was 56 it might be somewhere between 45 to 65 for me it was 56 you might expect some more question <coughs> here i have 48 uh, multiple choice multiple response question and eight was case study there is only one case study that is uh, that i got and that has eight questions now passing marks was uh, seven seven thousand seven hundred out of thousand out of thousand. So you may expect like forty or forty one at least you need to score uh, correctly. So which is quite big. So you cannot afford uh, more question to uh, be wrongly marked. So please be sure. Now whether there are partial marking? Yes, there are partial marking in many question. Uh, they have one or one or two or three option that you need to choose. So if you can able to mark any of them correctly, you, you can expect half of the weightage marks. And if you mark them wrongly, there is no negative marking. So be sure you have answered all of the questions. So the next thing is exam break. They have newly introduced this uh, concept called exam break. So in Azure exam, there is no break previously. So what they have done, they have introduced a new button. So they are like clearly told like you can take as many exam break as you can. So the exam break maximum it will go till, till five minutes. You can have a sip of water or you can go for washroom if required within that minute. But there is a catch. So suppose you are going, you are planning for a uh, take an exam break between. So uh, the moment you go to exam break, you cannot go previously. Like if you have marked say five question or if you didn't mark five question and if you are planning to. Uh, you know come back and uh, do a review division and then you uh, change your mind and change the options so that will only be possible if you have taken an exam break so the moment you take the exam break the, all the previous question will be frozen and you won't be able to change the answer or you won't be able to answer them so that is one point so make sure that even if you are taking an exam break you have given all the question answer and one more question is before going to exam break make sure the current question is marked because if you go like you know if you open a question and then if you click on the exam break that question will be frozen and you won't be able to answer so be, be very sure that you are in a current question in a question and you have clicked a marked answer then you go for an exam break if required though this is not a lengthy exam i would say and neither in 104 or 204 you'll get a time enough time to go for exam break but if required sometimes we need to have a sip of water which is not even allowed so uh, that you can go possibly for a minute or so so this this is a new concept uh, if somebody is needed they can definitely go for exam break it won't uh, cause like you know any problem now the exam time is one hour 40 minutes so this one hour 40 minutes is actual time but previously they will give uh, 30 minutes for uh, like you know check-in so that is a, a extra time and after that they will give around five to ten minutes for feedback so those are not counting actual exam time is 100 minutes which is one hour 40 minutes now how much time do i need so for me it was approximately 55 to 60 minutes it was taken it is not even like you know one hour so i would able to complete all of the question because exam are questions are not very lengthy and possibly uh, 
you would be able to answer the question within 40 to 50 minutes if you are a quick reader if you are a slow reader like me maybe it will it will take around one hour or slightly higher than that but don't be in hurry buddy i have done uh, one time revision for all the questions so this far, first 48 question i am able to revision i think one or two ways i revised and this after that you need to finish click finish the exam and you need to proceed to uh, the case studies so case studies i got eight question again i revised one so total i have taken around one hour one or two minutes then i don't think i mean since i cannot go this side because i am in case studies so i didn't take more time i just click finish and i have completed the exam after completion of the exam you can directly see your marks and you will be able to know whether you pass or failed in the exam so it's an instant uh, process so that is um, all about this exam and uh, if you want to know more about this exam how i prepared i'll make a different video so one study material i have that predominantly i followed uh, that i will be uh, given uh, the link over here if you want to uh, i got around say 95 percent questions from there so i'll discuss on this on the next video also how i prepared in a detailed format but if you want to download and you want to prepare that might be the best uh, that is available over internet so that is all about the AZ 305 exam. If your friends or you are preparing, do watch this video and to share with them also. Thank you.